I, I've got to ask you just first and foremost, in the most simplest terms, do you think Israel is going to retaliate? Oh, yes. But they will retaliate in their own time and in their own manner, to use their well-worn phrase. The question is how big the retaliation is. Uh, does it actually limit itself to Revolutionary Guard uh, assets offshore? Does it actually bomb the Revolutionary Guards onshore? That would be limiting it to, to, to simply military targets. Or does it go for economic and uh, even for Iran's nuclear uh, facilities? Uh, so you have all degrees of uh, escalation that are possible, but escalation you would get. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Even if the Israeli response for the moment is limited, you have to remember that the real escalation issue in Israel is that Israel can now no longer accept that Iran becomes a nuclear arms state. That is simply out of the question, and Israel will do whatever is necessary to stop that. So even if you get a moderate response today, uh, if you look at the situation uh, one year out, uh, escalation is, to use a cliche, baked in the cake. Baked in the cake. But how, how far reaching could be the implications, uh, David, uh, from a market standpoint? Oh, I think if you got um, down the road, I personally think you will get a quite moderate response from Israel uh, in its retaliation, which you will get the retaliation, but it will be quite moderate, uh, probably limiting to military assets of the uh, IGRC, of the Revolutionary Guards. But if you got the, the, the most extreme form of retaliation, which I don't think you will get now, but you will get inevitably within a year or 18 months against Iran's nuclear capacity, then I think you're into a market meltdown. David, can I just ask you, because, you know, everyone's talking about an Israel retaliation on Iran for what we saw in terms of the, the strikes over the course of the weekend. But does this, I suppose, add to the risk that, you know, no one's talking about Rafah anymore. And I would imagine that even if they were to secede to the, the US pressure to, you know, cool it down in terms of a direct strike against Iran, what happens if they just go ahead with their plan to um, engage in Rafah anyway? I think the most likely thing they would do if they were to escalate in the area around immediately in the proximity contiguous to Israel would be that they would go for Hezbollah. Now, it's very interesting that Iran did not use Hezbollah in the strikes on Israel, which occurred uh, this weekend, uh, because they're trying to preserve the Middle Eastern jewel in their crown, because they know Hezbollah is actually their real uh, serious uh, yeah, military asset. But... What Israel could do was simply, uh, probably with the complicity of the United States, take out Hezbollah so that Iran loses its major uh, offensive capability in the Middle East. Because, frankly, I don't think that Hamas is going to be in that category or anything like it for several years until it is rebuilt.